What's up, folks? So I just did a whole stream on this, and I found out that my mic wasn't working. So I'm doing take two here. Breaking news from the Washington Post. Twitter has banned 70 million accounts over the past two or three months. They're banning on average 1 million accounts per day, which, by the way, meets Facebook's uh, record right now, which is about a million accounts per day. They're claiming that these accounts are suspicious and or bot accounts, right? So Twitter allegedly has 323 million active users, right? And according to Washington Post, they just banned 70 million of them and they're banning up to a million more per day. This is incredible. And the Washington Post goes into detail about this. Basically why they're doing this is because they got pressure from the Democrats, plain and simple. And we all knew this, but they're actually openly admitting this. Well, not on the record. It looks like uh, the Washington Post has some internal source at Twitter that is feeding them this information, telling them about these white hat operations that Twitter's doing, uh, leaking the data about how many accounts that they're banning. So this is gonna be very fascinating because Twitter may have potentially lied to the SEC and to investors because they said that they um, had about 5% of their active users they believed were bots. Well, that doesn't make much sense because they literally just banned like 30% of their users, 70 million plus users that they claimed were bots or were showing suspicious activity. Really interesting that they're doing this now and the timing is important here because it's right before the midterm elections and there's a reason for that. This whole Russian hysteria, all this nonsense, misinformation, fake news. Listen, these bots have been around for like over a decade. Why is it? And, and Twitter has supported free speech prior to like 2015. They were the free speech wing of the free speech party. And all of a sudden, President Trump gets elected. The Democrats lose their mind. And now they start banning accounts like crazy. They start censoring. They start actually going after the bot problem that they've had for over a decade now. A decade, these bots are just sitting there and they're finally doing something about it. Banning 70 million accounts. Incredible. Banning up to another million accounts per day, according to the Washington Post. Going to be very interesting to see what happens during Twitter's earnings call. Uh, is their active user count going to go down? It should, in theory. I don't know how they're going to wiggle around this. You have this report from the Washington Post that says they just banned 70 million accounts. They're banning a million accounts per day. And somehow their daily active users, their monthly active users aren't going to change. I don't see that happening. So let's stay tuned. I'm going to follow this story very closely. I'm going to listen to Twitter's earnings report, see what happens, see what where things go from here. But the timing of this is very important. Right before the midterm elections, right before 2020, that's what they're gearing up for. The Democrats are putting pressure on Silicon Valley to do something about quote unquote fake news, to do something about the trolls, to keep the public health of the conversation online doing well. These companies, these Democrats, they believe that you're all stupid. They think that you're infantile. They treat you like children as opposed to individuals with free will and with free choice. I'm assuming that Twitter has been around, listen, Twitter has been around for over a decade, okay? I'm assuming that most adults and even most children understand three simple concepts, how to block how to ignore, how to sign off the internet, right? If you don't feel safe by mean words on the internet, listen, it's different. If someone is coming, threatening to come to your house to kill you or something, that's different, okay? We all don't agree with that. You should go to the police if someone is actually doing this, if you feel seriously threatened. But if your feelings are hurt by someone else's political opinion, by data, by harsh truths, by harsh taboos that not many people want to talk about, suck it up. Learn to keep scrolling, learn to block, learn to mute. Don't silence and censor and no platform people that you don't agree with because they hurt your goddamn feelings. It's insanity. We're gonna keep building to provide an alternative that stands by for individual liberty, that stands by the people, and that defends the free expression that we all deserve. It's a fundamental human right. That's what we believe here. Free expression is a fundamental human right. And that you guys are individuals. You have individual liberty. You are adults in most cases. And if you're not, if as a kid, 
even 13 to 18 kids that grew up on the internet understand how to use the tools. They understand how to block, how to mute, how to hide, how to scroll things, how to sign off the internet, okay? We don't wanna baby you. We don't wanna decide what is and isn't fake news. We don't wanna decide who, if you're a bot or if you're not. This stuff is insanity. These people are insane. Stay tuned, we're gonna to continue to cover this. Remember to speak freely.